Welcome to the Extreme Channel. This is the last day of August, which means we're going to go over all the crap I pissed my money away on. And if you're wondering why I'm so excited, stay tuned for the video. But one of the two reasons is it's football season, baby. Is it weird that I just called you baby? I don't even call my wife baby. I call her ma'am. As the Extreme Channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to Extreme Acquisitions. This is a monthly segment we do every day on the last day of the month to see how much money I pissed away and what kind of high-end crap that I bought and sometimes a little bit of low-end crap. Now tomorrow is the first of the month and we also have another monthly segment coming up. Tomorrow is one of the most interesting videos you will ever see and there's a huge announcement at the end of tomorrow's video that's very, very important, so make sure to check that out. But in traditional extreme fashion, we're going to check out my favorite pieces that arrived this month. We're going to look at some stupid crap that I bought. We're going to look at things I wanted to buy, but I decided to be an adult for a few minutes. And then we're going to top it off with what I pissed my money away on. If you guys could do me a favor, not only make sure you've liked this video, but if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Because every single piece we're going to look at today, I'm going to do an individual video on that when it arrives. Whether it's one I've already done the video, or all the ones that I bought, they may not arrive for anywhere from three days to three years. So with that, let's just kick it off with the stupid stuff I bought. Thankfully, it was only one thing this month. Alright, so even though this one is wrapped like a present, it's really not. And I know what it is. It was uh, one of those stupid Facebook ads, but instead of buying from them, because they usually don't deliver, I actually went to uh, Etsy. All right, ooh, they even have my real name on the top. All right, we got a piece of foam here, fantastic. This is much smaller than I thought it would be, which is a little disappointing. But this is way smaller than I thought it would be. That is really disappointing. I don't know if he sent me the right thing. Well, it's very fancily wrapped. I probably should have read the description. You know, honestly, instead of all this fancy wrapping, they should have just made it big. I don't care how much you wrap something up on the outside, size is what matters. Oh, so this is incredibly disappointing. I should have read the description. But this is a replica of So, the good news is that the book is actually on the inside, which is kind of cool. So I think they took a copy of the book and then they just did this outside section with the orange symbol and all that, but I thought it was like a full size, just like the book. So I'm a little disappointed, but again, that's why you should read the description. And at least now I have a book to read. Who are we fooling? I have so many omnibus I need to read. I didn't want another book. I wanted a prop replica of a full-size, never-ending storybook. That's a $100 loss, because I didn't read the description. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is my favorite things that arrived in the month of August. And honestly, there wasn't a lot. But just in the last week, I've had about eight tracking numbers updates. So you're going to see a ton of content coming up. That's why it's really important you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. But my third favorite piece was kind of a tie. It was this custom Wolverine vs. Sabretooth statue. I actually got two of them. Looks absolutely amazing. So this was kind of tied with this Calvin and Hobbes piece. And if you caught the video on the Calvin and Hobbes, make sure to check it out. This was one of my favorite storylines growing up, and I think that's why it meant so much to me. My second favorite piece was by Sume. It is this one six scale, one punch man statue. If you guys know me, I've been seeking this piece for a very long time, and I was finally able to get him in the collection, and he did not disappoint. Now my number one favorite piece was the Prime One Studios Jungle Predator statue. This is amazing. Every time I look at it, I love it more and more. And I started to go all in on a bunch of Predator and Alien pieces. I think they're definitely going to be some of my endgame and statue collecting, which is a hint, is part of the big announcement tomorrow. And honestly, I'm not fluffing it up. It's a decently big announcement. So those were my favorite pieces that arrived. Now before we dive into the next section, let's look at one of our sponsors for the video. That is the coldest water bottle. So the coldest water bottle is essentially a thermos or cooler that comes in any shape, size, and color. Not any, I mean, you can't have like a staircase level one that's 10 feet tall, but a variety of shapes, colors, and sizes. They keep stuff honestly cold for three, four days sometimes, and you can put anything in here. You can put breast milk, cat blood, white claw, 
absolutely anything. So make sure to check this out. You can win one. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to their website, use the code extreme, get a discount and help support the channel. Now this next part, hashtag restraint. This is stuff that I really, really want to buy and I have the means, I have the opportunity. I just, for some reason, decide I'm going to be a little bit of an adult. So let's kick it off with Prime One Studios. They had their Say Cheese Joker one third scale statue come out. I love this piece. Not a huge fan of the base, but I think the portraits are unbelievable. So I had a hard time saying no to this. I have a lot of other one third Prime One Studios pieces already and a lot more coming in. So for those reasons, I held off. Prime One Studios came out with their 1-4 scale Jon Snow statue. Now I really wanted this because I think it'd pair really well with the Daenerys on Throne piece that I have, but ultimately I passed simply for the fact that this really didn't happen in the movie and while I appreciated Jon Snow, I didn't, I didn't think he was all that. Of course he could kick my ass, but... My waitlist converted for the Infinity Studios Batman life-size bust. And I was really tempted on this, but the more I looked at it, I think the Queen Studios one that I own is actually better. Granted, if you want arms, which, you know, I'd rather someone without arms because then they can't resist you, it's probably the better route, but for me, it was a pass because of the price tag, and I technically already have one. Prime One Studios released their Chun-Li statue. I really want this. I'm still waiting on my Ryu, so for those reasons, I kind of held off for now, but I've been waiting for a Chun-Li statue to add my Street Fighter collection. This may end up on the buying list down the road. XM Studios came out with their Samurai Scarecrow. Now, I initially did a blog on this on the ExtremeChannel.com. I do daily blogs on new releases, and I was totally going to pass, but I really, really like one of the portraits, the one that you see here. But the rest of it, just I'm not feeling it, so even though I love the samurai line, I decided to say no. Now, the last one was the nipple Batman. That's right, Val Kilmer, Prime One Studios, one-third scale Batman Forever piece. You know, I wanted to pass on this because I don't like the film that much, but I love this statue. I think they did an amazing job. And this one was hashtag restraint for about five days. I'll talk about that in a second. All right, so now we're gonna kick it off. And I only spent 13 grand this month, but that doesn't include shipping. So probably when you include shipping, it's about $50,000. But let's go ahead and kick it off. First thing actually was not a statue. I was going to New York Comic Con with Mrs. X. We were really excited about it. And then they announced that everybody has to be vaccinated. Now, while Mrs. X and I are vaccinated, we think that's just gonna kill Comic-Con altogether. Half the people we wanna see won't be there, half the things we wanna do will possibly be closed down. So we diverted some of those funds and instead we're gonna go to Mexico during that time. We're gonna go on the beach in Mexico, just me and Mrs. X, so very excited about that. We'll give exclusive content to just members. We'll film everything. We'll film the beach, we'll film the bedroom stuff, everything you wanna see. If you wanna know what that's about, hit that join button below. Now, with that being said, the rest of them were high-end collectibles. So let's kick off with the one I practiced, hashtag restraint, for about five hours. I did end up buying the Batman Forever statue. I got it from Comic Concepts. That's my go-to for Prime One Studios pieces. A little bit cheaper. I got the deluxe version. I love that bat wall. And I'm actually rearranging my one-third statues to make room for this piece. Pretty pumped when it comes out in a year or so. Next one is a custom. This is an M. Bison on Throne. Now, a few interesting things about this. First of all, I can't tell you any information on this or where to get it. I believe it's sold out anyway. Second, I actually ordered this a while ago. Now, custom means it's unlicensed. And unfortunately, the person producing it before, they got hit with a cease and desist because technically you shouldn't be doing that. But I went ahead and purchased this guy from a new creator and I'm very excited to have him. It's this reason alone I'm probably keeping my Street Fighter collection. This looks fantastic. The back of it looks even better than the front. Anyway, a few other ones, I kind of fell into a trap. I went to my distributor for Queen Studios, which is Cosmic Chase Collectibles, and I ended up buying their Batman on Throne. As you can't tell behind me, that if you couldn't tell behind me, I've redone the Throne collection to make room for these, so Batman on Throne is coming to the Extreme Collection. Very excited, and right next to him, I'm actually going to put the Batman Who Laughs on Throne. I think that these are fantastically done. I have another Batman on Throne on order, and I own a Batman on Throne, so all of these mixed together are just gonna be crazy. I may end up selling one. If I sell it, FYI, I sell everything through the channel, so another reason to make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that bell notification. I also pulled the trigger on Prime One Studios' Ahab Predator. Very excited about this piece. I didn't end up getting the exclusive because I can't remember, it was something stupid. So I got the regular version of this, but gonna be very pumped when this comes in. These Predator pieces just get better and better. This is one four scale, even though he is gigantic. Another Queen Studios piece I bought is their Heath Ledger and Police Uniform statue. 
So while I know this was only 20 seconds of the film, I think it's an iconic way to recognize Heath. And Queen Studios rarely misses, so this is one-third scale. I may have to take the flag off to display it, so we'll figure that out when it comes in a year or so. But another one I got from Cosmic Chase Collectibles. Gonna look fantastic with all my one-third scale movie comic pieces. I had a waitlist convert on this very small edition size Triceratops from Prime One Studios. I'm going almost all in in their 115th scale line, with the exception of buying more than one specific dinosaur. This one, I keep watching Daniel's reviews. I just put a card up in the corner. He does Jurassic Park stuff. He does fantastic videos, fantastic reviews, and he really convinced me to get it. But I look forward to this, even though my wait list converted like a month ago, and I haven't heard anything since then. So hopefully it arrives very, very soon. I did pull the trigger on Sideshow's Carnage Premium format they recently showcased at Sideshow Con. I think this looks awesome. I'm gonna pass on the Venom, but this piece will be fantastic in the collection with all my other custom Carnages. Couple older pieces I picked up, I was able to grab the Iron Studios Spider-Man Far From Home statue. You're actually gonna see this review very, very soon. I already got it in hand and it did not disappoint, kind of a spoiler, and it makes me even more excited with the trailer we recently saw from No Way Home. So also from Iron Studios, I finally got their Daredevil. I'm very excited, I actually haven't unboxed it. It's upstairs right now, I'm gonna unbox it right after this. I've been looking for this guy for a long time and the reason why I really wanted him is I have the Sideshow Premium Format Exclusive, I have the Shadowlands variant, and not only that, but I got this yellow Daredevil as well. This is a custom piece. Again, I can't give you any information. If you're unfamiliar why he was yellow, stay tuned for that video when it comes out in about a year and a half or so, and I will tell you all about it. These are gonna look fantastic next to that custom Kingpin that should be shipping in the next six months here. Very excited for my new Daredevil setup, and most recently, I actually did a ton of changes here in the collection. I showed that to some members on the Extreme channel. And at the end of the year, I will do a full room tour for you guys, but it's pretty cool. I'm very excited for what's done. I posted some teaser photos on Instagram and Facebook, so make sure to check me out there and on TikTok. I've also done some teasers about tomorrow's big announcement on the video, so make sure to check that out. So that's all I got. Now, honestly, this is the most exciting part of the video for me. Comment down below what your extreme acquisitions are. They don't have to be collectible related. It could be anything. Did you buy a hooker? Did you have to pay bail? A car, a house, anything extreme, go ahead and throw that in the comments below. And I tell you to comment because of this. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Again, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to tune in until tomorrow. Watch the whole video, it's very important. Really appreciate you guys watching today. Drop me a like on the way out if you haven't. It really helps the channel and I do appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Check out some of these other videos. Take care.